Amanda and Lafayette. Hey, Amanda, what's up? Yeah, my comment is for Clay. James Franklin ain't done nothing that Derek Dilly is. Derek Dilly might be losing coaches, but he keeps interviewing people, and he's been the hired defense coordinator. So, Clay, you need to stop. What? Bye. What do I need to do? What word did she use there at the end? No. Stop. Did she scream the whole way through? Was that Barbara Dooley? We need to replay that. Did you grab that, JT? That was Amanda and Lafayette. Amanda and Lafayette? I don't know that I understood any word other than Clay that she said the entire call. Call of the day so far belongs to, I believe her name was Amanda. Where was she from? Lafayette. See if you can translate what exactly she's saying here. Yeah, what did she say at the end? The whole thing is a scream. Let's listen. Amanda and Lafayette. Hey, Amanda, what's up? Yeah, my comment is for Clay. James Franklin ain't done nothing that Derek Dilly is. Derek Dilly might be losing coaches, but he keeps interviewing people, and he's been the hired defense coordinator. So, Clay, you need to stop. Need to what? What did she say? I, I, st- I still don't stalk. understand. Stalk. What word is that, Dick? He played that again. But the first part I wait, like wait, wait. is. Does she want you to stalk? We need to we need to deconstruct this call. Derek Dilly? The first part of the call. If, if some of you speak idiot, call in out there, 737-1045. Clay, she's not an idiot. She's just passionate. She's clearly an idiot. She's not an Listen idiot. to the first sentence here. She says, he may have lost some coaches, but he's interviewing people. Is that? Yeah, my comment is for Clay. James Franklin ain't done nothing that Derek Dilly is. Derek Dilly might be losing coaches, but he keeps interviewing people, and he's been the hired defense coordinator. So, Clay, you need to stop. First of all, I she said know. James Franklin ain't done nothing, which is actually a double negative. So she's actually saying that he has done something. Can we play that again? Let's let's deconstruct this again. I don't know that she actually has managed to make any sense whatsoever. I want to hear this again. James Franklin ain't done nothing that Derek Dilly is. Derek Dilly might be losing coaches, but he keeps interviewing people, and he's been the hired defense coordinator. So, Clay, you need to stop. What in the world? She could have, like, said some curse word I've never heard of. That could right be there. I don't know. Maybe we should have dumped her and not played it 18 times. She was only on for like 10 seconds. She, she didn't have it. She had so much passion in her voice. But what was that last word? Stop. stop. Was it stop? Yeah. Stop. Stop. Stalk. Ain't done stop. nothing. He's losing coaches, but he's interviewing people. That's a positive thing. Somebody called and said maybe she said you need to choke. Choke. Maybe she did say that. Choke. I think she stop. said stop. Stop. Something S T. Follow us on Twitter at 3 hl one zero four five. Uh Carrie writes, James Franklin ain't done nothing that Derek Dooley is. Which goes back to Amanda's call. Let's play Amanda's call one more time. Then we have a lot of Twitter comments that you've got. JT, you got it? James Franklin Ow. ain't done nothing that Derek Dooley is. Derek Dooley might be losing coaches, but he keeps interviewing people. And he's been the hired defense coordinator. So, Clay, you need to stalk. Again, that last word. I'm... Stalk? Stalker? Yeah. Is she trying to tell me to no, chase her? I... No, I think she's telling you to stalk Derek Dewey. Oh, maybe so. Bob writes, she is an idiot. Still laughing my ass off. She said stop like stope. Clay needs to stop, and then parentheses, S-T-U-L-P-E. Um, Clay said, quote, if any of you speak idiot, please call in. Alan writes, the lines should be jammed for at JT1045. Crazy lady, sounds like an Alabama native. Guys, I got this. This is from uh, Casey. I'm a speech therapist. She clearly said... Stop. S H T A W W P. Scott uh, was, on uh, 24 says he can help. Hey, Scott. Hey, guys. How are you doing, man? I, I, uh, uh, unfortunately, my wife can verify that I speak idiot very well. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to give you the translation. All I've of got, our wives will say that. Yes. Yeah, no doubt. I've got a, a couple of comments for you, but, uh, but what, what she was trying to say was, was a combination of stow it and stop. And, and so she just made up a new word, which is idiot speak. When you don't have something to say, you just make up words. So what she said was actually a combination of the two. It was stope. Uh, you need to stow it and stop at the same time, which is when you, when you kind of run out of things, you just start making up words. And that's what I do, especially when I've had a, you know, had a few. I just start making up words. But, uh, Clay, I definitely need to put up a pic of, of, uh, my wife and myself on the outkick of coverage. I think I would rock it to the top of the list. And the, the good cop, bad cop thing between you and Brent is hilarious. Keep it up, guys. Love the show. Gregory, I got some good comments here, too. At Rascal Manning, congratulations on outkicking your coverage, by the way. That's every man's goal. I speak crazy-ass woman. She said if you drink tequila while eating tacos, things can get messy. Adam Moyer at Moyer1485 says, 
he ain't done nothing James Franklin is. The double negative is obvious there, but the use of is on the end of the line is more confusing. Todd Parker takes a shot at poor old Dixie. I'm convinced Amanda is kin to Dixie, he says. Pound. Stop with the FF at the end, whatever that means. This good cop, bad cop thing isn't really good cop, bad cop thing. I just look at life a little more positively than Clay. Wayne on the cell. Hey, Wayne. Have you got me on? Hello? Hello? Hello, yes. Uh, you, 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 okay, for you? My, my, my question is directed at Clay. Wait, who is this? Are you Wait, there, Clay? What? Are you there? What? Okay. Uh, what? Since, since we want to compare Dooley and Franklin, let's do it. Okay, didn't uh, Dooley beat him head to head? No, he lost. No. Franklin he lost. Won. Franklin lost, that's right. Wayne, are you a UT fan? Yes, I am. How much does it hurt your soul that you have to call in and argue about whether Vandy or UT has a better coach? Because Clay wants to compare them all the time. Well, they're very comparable, don't you think? Well, let me ask you one question. Hey, Y'all talk about this. How do you think Vanderbilt would have done if they would have played UT schedule this year? They'd probably have had the same record that UT did, about 5-7. and seven. Okay, well, we're in agreement on that then. So what you've basically proven is that Derek Dooley and James Franklin are equal coaches. No, because Dooley beat him head to head. But if James Franklin had Tennessee He's got schedule, you there, Clay. He beat him head to head. So you he beat him head to head. Now, I mean, in his second uh, year, in his second year, the best win of the Derek Dooley era was beating Vandy that's in that's overtime. That's There's nobody that's can that's dispute that. No, that's true. Fresh, they were three point underdogs. Start. That's the only game that that Derek Dooley won as an underdog. In two how years. many fre- how many freshmen did James Franklin start? Again, Wayne, I'll just ask you this question. How far has the UT football program fallen that you feel compelled to call in and well, argue about whether Vandy or UT is a superior program? I'll give Clay that. You walked into that he, one, Wayne. He could help and Lane Kiffin run, run all the former's recruits off. Well, what's his excuse for three years, three years of losing at Louisiana Tech? I'll give Wayne that one. I'll give Clay that one. He, 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 went, to a bowl, like he, went, to a, he went to a bowl game, though, did he? He's 28 and 34 yeah. in five years as a head coach, Wayne. What what reason do I have to believe that Derek Dooley is a good coach? You give me one, other than the fact that you wear orange colored glasses. Give me an objective reason why you believe that Derek Dooley is a good coach. He did it, sir. He's he's already got the program headed in the right direction. That's just an opinion. I mean, I want an objective reason why I should believe that Tennessee is in good hands with Derek Dooley. Well, silence. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Wade. I expected him to come back with that guy from Allstate, that voice, you know, right. like in the commercial. If you want to They're argue that Derek Dooley, Dooley, Dooley is the right guy, you can argue that. But that's just an opinion. It's the exact opposite opinion as me. But what I'm pointing to is evidence. Five years as a head coach, the guy is 28 and 34. At some point, you got to cut bait and say, you are what your record says you are. And Derek Dooley's record says in the WAC or the SEC, he loses more games than he wins. That's the fact. Can you compare what the, and I guess it's not fair, but this, this season, Conzo has already had his signature win beating Florida. Conzo has done more already as a UT basketball player. He had overcome less. Well, I don't know. Both programs are pretty, probably a little less than, than Dooley, though. That was, that's, that's a little tougher job, what he had to overcome. I don't know. I mean, this same? team, this team's probably going to struggle to make the NIT. So, I mean, I, I think if you look at it in those terms, then about the same, about the same. So, well, struggling to make the NIT is about like making a crappy bowl game. Kerry writes, I have to say, I would have given a more eloquent delivery, but I agree with Amanda's frustration of Clay. Keep in mind, though, you all were talking the other day about how people slash women get nervous to call in. Pretty sure that was Amanda's issue, along with the level of frustration she's feeling towards Clay. And given him calling her an idiot, and asking if you speak idiot, <laughs> then call in and translate, it just adds to the reason people slash women do get nervous. We don't have problem with too few callers. Thanks, Brent, for, in fact, saying that she is not an idiot. She is an idiot. She's not an idiot. She's clearly an idiot. She is not an idiot. Let's play this again. Jake, Nobody is Everybody an idiot. Play. She was fired up. She yeah, was she passionate. Was passionate she made, about her. She, she, did not, she got a little fumble stumble over the word. Oh, yeah, the words just start flying around when you get that word. <laughs> she didn't say anything that was even logical or could be analyzed. If you tried to diagram that sentence into an English teacher, the English teacher would turn to you and slap you in the face with an eraser. But she wasn't talking to the English teacher. She was talking to you. Well, that's even worse. <laughs> If you're just talking to the English teacher, it's a one-on-one failure. When you talk to me, uh-huh. you're talking and you failed. The entire city of Nashville has heard that you are an idiot. Uh, this is who defends Derek Dooley, the Dooley drinkers. Now, maybe I'll be, I'll defend her. If you drink the Dooley for too long, 
it poisons your brain. You don't. <laughs> You don't make logical decisions anymore. Well, I don't feel like She's I'm so, drinking the dule, but I want the so guy you, to do well, so and I want him to win next logical year. Logical decisions. This poor lady has been drinking the dule so much that it has gotten into her brain, and she can't even formulate logical right. sentences anymore. I'm not drinking the dule. I wanted him to get one more year, but I, I've stated before that if the D coordinator left, I think you, as an AD, you have to start analyzing, and other coaches have left Five as coaches well. have like, left. Hey, you have to start analyzing. Wait a minute now. Do I want to start all over or do I want to continue riding the show? And I, there's a high possibility that we're not going to meet expectations where we need to be by over, hiring all these coaches next season. Over half the staff is already gone. That, that's, that's not a positive no sign. Other, no that other might program. be a good thing. But that's a bad thing too because he hired those guys. five games last year. This is a disaster. We're just, this is like the Battle of Waterloo. Dooley, <laughs> Dooley is going to come out. Team camaraderie and the coaches and the players. Coaches, the it's players want to leave. Yes. The coaches want There's out. Some signs out there. This is like the Titanic hitting the iceberg. It's going down. There's not enough lifeboats and everybody else is trying to rush the lifeboat first. Pretty soon all these Dooley drinkers are going to be floating in the Arctic, holding on to icebergs, slowly freezing to death. Well, what about the people like me that just want to give him a chance? He's got a chance. He's going to fail, but he's got a chance. He get three years. Dustin writes on Twitter, props to Dooley for interviewing people when coaches leave. He is truly a pioneer. <laughs> you know what yeah, someone said on Twitter is that once the, uh, Vandy releases these players, maybe UD should pick them up. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> wow. Hey, Clay, let me tell you, I'm a dying in rural Tennessee fan ever since I have memory, but even I know that this really character, I'm not drinking the Dooley, as you call it. I don't like that. You ought to, you know, copyright that term and use it. But I, no, no, Franklin, I'm, I'm jealous as can be. I, I wish we could, you know, pull the wool over everybody's eyes and swap them out. What do you mean copyright that term? Clay to Dulaid is like Brent Musburger to Honey Badger. Dulaid, I own the Dulaid. Let's. Uh, you know who disagrees with you, Jim? Amanda disagrees with you. She thinks you're crazy. Yeah, I know. I tend to agree with you. Think she's the idiot. She's certainly not articulate by any means. But I, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't even want him there this year. I'm just ready to take the punch and go to the next guy. But. I know we got no choice, and so we'll see what year three brings. I, but I, you know, he had this same crew the first year, and in this past year, he did even worse. I I don't understand it. I I am frustrated, and you know, I guess he gets his third year, and hopefully, I, you know, I I can't pretend to know how to deal with eighteen to twenty year old egomaniac, but apparently Billy doesn't either, and I, I just, he just he's losing it. He's lost the team. He doesn't have the leadership and seems to handle. What's going on down there? And I, I'm ready for another bad year of Tennessee football. Thank you, Jim. Well, Very optimistic call. Let's go with Amanda. Amanda disagrees. Derek Dooley is working hard. He's interviewing people, and he's doing something that James Franklin is. I'm not sure exactly. This poor James boy. Franklin ain't done nothing that Derek Dooley is. Derek Dooley might be losing coaches, but he keeps interviewing people, and he's been a high defense coordinator. So, Clay, you need to stop. Great job, 104.5 The Zone. Vinny on Twitter. I'm from East Tennessee. Thanks. She was so upset with Clay. Meant to say stop, but choked the word out. I think Clay was rude, she says. Oh, rude. Casey writes, Amanda should have gotten the art treatment. She could have been a cult hero. That's true. If we'd have gone that way with her, she'd be a superstar. She hung up. I was willing to let her talk as long as she wanted. She hung up on us. That's that's why I was so uh, so disappointed. What she we was need, upset. What does Ferris here want? He wants a civil conversation. That's what we need. Let's have a civil conversation. Yeah, no doubt, Clay. Civil conversation. <laughs> Ferris and that, Madison. Right? Hey, Ferris. Before I, I do want to say that I am diehard UT. So, you know, if Clay wants to go ahead, have, go ahead and hate me, that's fine. I'm a UT fan. I don't believe that. You think that I'm lying about who I root for? <laughs> no, I mean, I understand you used to. I thought you wrote good books. <laughs> so you think I like, that I'm... I'm going to be honest with you. I like everything y'all do except when you get going on TV because, on UT because I think you take it. It goes to a whole other extreme. Okay, well, let's let's have a civil conversation. Whoa, 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 whoa. Because Blaine and I are going the other way. So well, I, how I, is I it going to an extreme? I, look, I love y'all's show. I'm not going to, I mean, y'all crack me up. I laugh. I think it's a good show. But I just, it, it angers me when Clay starts on UT because you say you are a UT fan. You're diehard. You fought him for a long time. You wrote a book. And I understand you don't like Dooley. That's fine. There's a lot of people that don't. I personally personal, think he right? came into a terrible mess that he may or may not get out of it. That's true. But okay, so you disagree with you disagree with my rationale. You disagree with my right to dislike what Derek no, Dooley has done at Tennessee. Absolutely not. You have it right as a sports writer. Uh, so I guess I guess what I'm saying. What's what's the issue then? 
it's the way you go about it. You want you keep you always bring up that what did UT come to that they have to defend themselves against Vanderbilt. We're not UT fans aren't defending themselves against Vanderbilt. They're defending themselves against you and the way that I disagree. UT to Vanderbilt. I disagree. UT, wait, let's, wait, hold on. Before we have you, you're getting get fired up. Let's find the right background music so we can have a civil conversation. Let's get JT. Wait, wait, wait. To, you've got music. JT said he's going to put a mix together so we can make sure we have the right civil conversation. Music. Ferris and Madison has his own music. Yes. No, I don't think this is going to work. Don't? This is not civil music. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm no, thinking, JT. I hear this, I'm thinking conflict. Conflict. What else we got, JT? I believe this is the Olymp the Olympic theme music. So I don't think this... No, this yeah, is, I'm, I'm kind of getting fired up in this also, conversation now. Is this Miss Elizabeth's music? Is this the Macho Man's music? I don't know. This is pretty hard. What else you got? Let's run the picket fence. Let's oh, I'm definitely, I'm definitely fired up now. I'm going to drain this three. I'll JT make it. JT has found some good themes. All right, what else we got? Is that what he said? I'll make it. Oh, this is too uh, too intimidating. Now we I can think, I have a civil conversation with this player. You know the thing about this, though? I'm I don't think Michael it. Myers anymore. I think Ray Lewis. That's right. Because <laughs> JT's mixed. All right, what else we got? This is too scary, JT. Oh, this is good. This is melodic. Ten, turn it down oh, a little bit. Let's so play this in the background. So soothing. Softly. No, somebody's about to die a thousand deaths, I think. All right. This is Brian All right, Hart. Ferris. Now we can have a civil conversation with this music in the background. Ferris? Are we ready? Yeah, you got, you got the background music going. All right, Ferris, t tell this con I mean, okay. Why <laughs> Dan Dooley's going to succeed? I, d I can't. I'm, I'm not denying that Dooley, that uh, Clay has his right to hate Dooley. I don't if, hate if, him. If, I like him personally. I would rather he be governor than the football coach of our team. But I, here's my thing. The guy, the Dooley came into a god awful mess. There's no denying that. From Kiffin's only recruiting class, there's eight players left. Look at the seniors that just graduated. All these things are true. I'm asking you to give me a reason that Derek Dooley, the situation doesn't that's what dictate. I'm you. No, no. But that's Derek Dooley, the situation that any coach would have come into. I'm saying take Derek Dooley as a coach, the guy who is 28 and 34, and give me a reason that something you have seen in him that makes you believe he is the guy who's going to take UT to the promised land or even a New Year's Day bowl game. The thing that gives me hope is recruiting. Can you tell me that Dooley has not increased the talent at UT? Incre I don't know that he's increased the talent relative you don't think to Tyler Alabama. better than what was there when he got there with Jonathan Crumb. He's oh, no, I think they're worse. Who was there, Matt Sims. I think they're worse. Tennessee lost thirteen to twelve or whatever it was to <laughs> our twelve. No, twelve to whatever it was on a, a last second missed field goal, twelve to ten, whatever the score was. With Kent Lane, Kent, yep. Yep. since then Alabama has treated Tennessee like Ole Miss, and they're going to do it again next year. There's nothing that gives me well, belief. Alabama's done that to a lot of times. All right, so but who's our rivals? They still Florida and Alabama and Georgia. They still are. You know, and you like, think Tennessee's I mean, going to be? Vanderbilt has become a rival, which personally I enjoy. But the only reason it's become a rival is because of the media. You think that the reason that that game went to overtime is because the media said these two no, teams have I become think rivals? Vanderbilt was loaded with fifth-year seniors and juniors. You, makes a big do you, you don't feel bad that you have to say Vanderbilt was loaded, and that's the reason that they competed with Tennessee? Do you really believe that? Between an 18-year-old kid that is just coming into a college program. And a 21-year-old kid that has been there for four years. So what's the excuse going to be this year when Vanderbilt beats Tennessee? Vanderbilt won't beat Tennessee this year. You guarantee it? Absolutely. 100 I billion percent. I will come on this radio show and sing Dynamite <laughs> if Vanderbilt beats Tennessee. <laughs> what was the score right. of the year before? Wait, are there words to that song? UT barely beat them. No, I, I, UT beat them by 14. It hurts, 14. It hurts me, Dave. So what was different that year? Words. Hey, Ferris, good job, man. Well done. Well, I just want to say, before I hang in, I just want to say I do like y'all show. I just, Clay, if you could just bring it down a notch. Just quit calling people names. There's no sense in it. No, they that's wrong. Dooley struggling. There's plenty of facts that you can use to prove he's struggling, but there's no reason to bring up potato farmers or calling UT fans idiots. There's no reason to that. Uh, I called that girl an idiot. I didn't call UT fans idiots. Well, Thank he's obviously a UT fan, so, you, you know. But well, that's different. Thank you for If you say UT fans are idiots, you're broadly braiding a brush. When I say that Amanda, who couldn't speak a full sentence on the radio, is an idiot, that's just an accurate representation of her intelligence. Well, lots of people have difficulty with that. I mean, you know, there are eight, nine people listening. Timmy next up. Hey, Timmy. Hey, hey Clay, if, if Dooley's so bad, you're the Dooley of the radio, man. Uh, All right, explain. Everybody talks bad about you. Nobody likes you. But deep down, you're going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you lost me on that. Everybody knows you're sitting in Nashville in James Franklin's lap with your lattes and capris at the pregame show, son. You ain't no UT fan. You think Nashville people drink a Where do you live? 
I live in Nashville. So why do you, you, you think that Nashville people are effeminate? No, he's I talking about you and your Capri pants and, and your latte. Vanderbilt latte. fans are effeminate. You think Vanderbilt fans are effeminate? As well as you are. As well as me. And what what, what do I do that's effeminate? Hiking around in Capris <laughs> with your salmon-colored polos. Can, Timmy, can you spell effeminate? But I can spell latte. You got one of those for your pregame? Spell, spell latte. Man? Spell latte. L-A-T-T-E. That's one for one. Now spell effeminate. C-L-A-Y. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> good job, Timmy. <laughs> I'll tell you this. If Derek Dooley was as successful as this show, he'd have won a national title already. I don't know about all that. I think so. I mean, he wouldn't do it to a major bowl. He would at least go to the New Year's Day bowl game. <laughs> the Dooley-Clay comparison was hilarious, according to Matt, Jason, and Smyrna. Hey, Jason. Hey, man. Um, there's a reason why a lot of locals call the Tennessean the U Tennessean. Um, if James Franklin could walk on water, the Tennessean headline would say, Franklin can't swim. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's a local paper here in Nashville, and all they do is run down Vanderbilt. You don't see the Knoxville News Sentinel running down Tennessee. Well, they do, but... The reality is nobody under the age of 30 reads newspapers. So everybody under the age of 30 listening to us right now is saying, wait, there's a newspaper in town? And that's the ultimate revenge, I think, for a bad newspaper, which the Tennessean, by and large, is a bad newspaper. They don't break much news. They don't write much interesting things. We love Jim Wyatt. He's the best that they've got. But outside of Jim Wyatt, what are you I'll reading? I like a lot of people over there. What are you reading? What? what well, are... I read it online. All right, if you read it online. I don't read it. But when I used to, I didn't learn anything. They just run AP articles. Now, that's true. And the writers, I would guess, would be frustrated by all of that. Yeah, they don't actually create news. Well, what the hell are there for then? That's a good question. You'd have to ask their editor. There aren't very many of them anymore. They keep uh, cutting them. Which is unfortunate. Daryl writes, L-A-T-T-E. Latte, that was funny. What is Timmy's Twitter handle? i got to follow that guy, S. Copeland. Uh, Timmy sounds like he's been spiking his lattes, and Whitney writes, is Timmy related or married to Amanda <laughs> or Shudder? Both. Well, that's, that would be common. Well, By the way, breaking news, I think we found Derek Dooley's defensive coordinator. It's Amanda. Is JT listening to us? No. He's just having a conversation with Withrow. In the pro- How long can we talk to JT? I'll tell you this. Amanda's got fans, man, on the Twitter handle. Look at this. JT, Amanda. Dooley's defensive coordinator. Let's hear her. Let's close out the show with the strongest call of the day. She would be a good hire. Yeah, my comment is for Clay. James Franklin ain't done nothing that Derek Dooley is. Derek Dooley might be losing coaches, but he keeps interviewing people, and he's been the hire defense coordinator. So, Clay, you need to stop. 